name is Eduardo Rubio. I'm a Mexican artist who lives most of the year in Morelia, a lovely and peaceful city in central Mexico. At the age of 13, I became interested in photography, which also provided me with my first income. At the age of 20, I decided to study art, focusing primarily on painting and sculpture. In addition, I developed many other interests, including creative writing, giving lectures, cooking, and collecting old books and manuscripts. Traveling is another one of my passions. I love to plan each one of my journeys so as to favor encounters with beautiful pieces of art. I make sure that each trip satisfies all my senses, which is why I prefer countries with abundant cultural riches, especially France, Italy, Spain, as well as some American cities such as Boston, Chicago, and New York. Obviously, there are many more places to discover. While visiting, I like to linger in the main museums and galleries, stand in front of art pieces, before photographing them in as much detail as possible. Most of the institutions allow taking pictures, yet they do not usually permit to alter the lighting conditions or to use a tripod, which hampers the quality of the photo. When I am interested by an image, I repeatedly capture it as carefully and stably as possible in order to obtain the best result as possible. I have been a Canon user for years. It was my father, also a photo lover, who introduced me to this brand, which has been part of the family since 1970. This is my father's camera. As an amateur, I work with a handy digital EOS Rebel T3i as well as two image stabilizing zoom lenses. On a typical day spent at the museum, I take approximately 500 photos of the details of the art pieces that I find aesthetically interesting. As a whole, I capture over 5,000 images on an average three-week trip. Back home, I set myself to the task of reviewing and selecting the pictures one by one. Of every 100 photos, I usually retain about a dozen to be eventually edited. I have chosen a square format for my compositions. Each selected picture is cropped and undergoes contrast, color temperature, and or density adjustments. I save those resulting images for further inspection. Over the past few years, I have been invited on several occasions to show my work in museums and other venues. I try to articulate each one of these exhibitions around a particular theme. Once I have decided on a theme, I delve into my archives of more than 30,000 photographs of art pieces to select the most relevant for this particular exhibition. Once the pictures are chosen, then the editing process begins. When I look at the details of a painting as captured by my camera, I find many unwelcome reflections, impurities, and other specks of dust, coupled with the cracks and the vanishing colors due to the passage of time. I thus undertake a process which allows me to create a new, fresher, and more present image. In order to be chosen, a picture must be beautiful, sensuous, and provocative. This sense of provocation, as well as an innate ability to elicit a reaction from the viewer, is central to art itself. Out of a whole work of art, I always pick only a tiny fragment that shows the artist's calligraphy or the sensuality of a scene. My photos actually focus on whatever detail that most powerfully caught my eye. For me, creating art should be deeply entertaining. I play with images, using them in order to create something new, with a constant purpose in mind. The production of beauty, of a new piece of art that I would like to see hanging on my walls.
I devote a large part of my days to editing and cleaning my photographs in order to create impeccable images. I spend hours reviewing my archives to select the images, which will help me to create new ones. My passion in what I do is such that at bedtime, I mentally review my production of the day and explore possible improvements. The next morning, usually very early, I reopen the archives and implement the changes and ideas born out of these nocturnal thoughts. Aware that each day can be my last, I love to think that when my time has come, my works will form my personal legacy to the art world.